Hi there. In today's tip, I'd like to show you how you can customize your Office Ribbon. Even after years of using the new look with the Office Ribbon, I'm still spending a lot of time looking for things in Excel, for example. When you go to the File tab on the top left and you go to Options, you'll see that there's an um, ability to go and say Customize Ribbon. On the left hand side, I'll see all the popular commands and on the right hand side, I'll see um, the ribbon as is, which consists of tabs and of groupings. I'm going to say new tab and I'm going to just select the tab and rename it and I'm going to call this cupcake. And then once I've added new tab, I can click on this group and I can actually rename it. So I do want to create groups that represents the things that I always look for. So again, new group, going to rename this, this is going to be functions and I'll do another group and I'll call this uh, cool stuff. Now, when I stand on formatting, I can then go on the left hand side and I can go find the different functions that I use often. So I'm going to use font color, format painter, maybe decrease font size, full color for sure, font absolutely. Um, and then on functions, I want to use insert function. I'm going to use uh, the auto sum as well. And of course I can add any others that I'd like to. And then, well, I think I've added here some. And, uh, and then other, other cool stuff I'd like to show you that um, this is the popular commands that's actually in your ribbon. But if you click on that drop down, it'll show you commands not in ribbon. There's over 300 options in this uh, set of functions that uh, you most probably didn't even know existed. So when I go to cool stuff, the one that I do want to add with it, which I think is pretty cool and you need to try it out sometime, is called Speak Cells. Now Speak Cells will read things back to you that uh, that you're not used to uh, or that you've typed in of course and that you want to check data. So if you type in data from a printed spreadsheet or something, Speak Cells will actually read that back to you. Now that's all that there is to it, is creating groups. Then the last thing I want to do is I'm going to select that and actually just move it up to the top because I do want that to be the ribbon that opens when I open up Excel. And now you'll see that I've got a ribbon right there at the top called Cupcake. And you'll see that I've got uh, little groupings there. This one's called formatting. This one's for functions. This one is for cool stuff. That's a pretty cool thing to do. Remember, you have to set it up for Word and for PowerPoint separately. And whenever you reinstall your office on another PC or your own PC, then you'll have to reset up this ribbon again. Hope that saves you a lot of time.